I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review, another team of the season review. This time it's going to be, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, I mean it's literally four letters, Dabo? I mean, how, how else can you pronounce that? Let's just say Dabo. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Let me know in the comments. Coventry City, right back, or right wing back, as he comes out of packs. Only the two-star skills, three-star weak foot to speak of. Medium, medium work rates. He's only 84 rated, which I think makes him the lowest rated team of the season card there is at the moment. There might be more coming that are lower rated, but at the moment, I think this is the uh, lowest. But that doesn't mean he's the worst. I reviewed someone earlier. Was it Curtis? Uh, I've done quite a few. I just haven't published them all, right? So Curtis uh, was earlier today. Then I did the Road to Glory. But Dabo next. And Curtis, spoiler alert, wasn't particularly very good. He's 85 rated. But that doesn't mean to say that all of the EFL team of the season cards and all the low rated team of the season cards are not going to be very good. This guy has some pretty decent stats. So uh, let's dive into them. 84 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Not too bad a start, really, for a right back. It's okay. His finishing and shooting in general across the board, absolutely abysmal. Not one stat there that you can even remotely class as usable or salvageable. So we're not going to bother trying with a chem style. Um, passing, I mean, his immediate short passing is very good. 92, that's actually an insane stat. But... When you add the vision to it, you don't really get anything out of that. So his short passing will actually be very hit or miss. Immediate to get out from the back will be good. Uh, but trying to be creative while going forward is just a no-go, really. Crossing is at 82, which is sort of, I don't know, usable in an emergency, I guess. But who crosses in FIFA 20 anyway, unless your name is Trent? Uh, but um, a dribbling, not bad. Uh, agility is a bit low, but he, I mean, he's 5'11". He does actually feel quite tall in game. He's got an average body type. But uh, he does feel quite, not stocky, but tall and, and sort of built, I guess, is the term I would use. I've never seen him play in real life, and I've never actually seen him in real life, so I don't know what he sort of looks like uh, while actually playing football. Um, he might have that sort of body type in real life, I'm not sure. But in FIFA, he does feel quite robust, if you will. Um, not great in terms of the agility, but there we are. I mean, you make up for that in composure. The, he, and I, oh, I always criticize the composure stat for not really doing anything but i am actually going to praise it in this um in this instance not because it's one of the highest stats that he has and i'm praising it for the sake of it he does feel i wouldn't even say composed it's sort of established more than anything he doesn't feel like a silver he doesn't feel like a low rated gold he doesn't feel like a bad player that's out of place he feels like a composed right back that has always been there you know it, it's not like a player that's come up from nothing and uh, like for instance was it the i can't remember his name uh i took a silver in form into a few games uh on wednesday thursday and it was essentially it's the lowest rated in form in fifa right and i forget his name Karoma, is that his name from was it rotherham i can't remember but either way i took him into a few games and he he didn't feel out of place necessarily, but you could tell that he was a low rated card. He wasn't bad, but he wasn't like it, it was like I was having to work extra hard to get him to fit into the team. And it kind of almost felt like that with Curtis up there in the left um, left hand corner of the team. And go check out the review for the full SP on him. But it did feel like I was having to try and work with them to try and get them to be sort of to fit in, if you will. But uh, Dabo just, he was there and he did his job and there wasn't anything bad necessarily to say about him. Obviously, I'm not going to say he's the best right back in the game. There are definitely issues, but it wasn't like I was using a uh, a weak player or, or, or a low rated player or a player that doesn't really deserve to be there. He was established for all intents and purposes. That was my favorite thing that he did. He got forward a lot, which was quite nice to see him and we'll see clips of that. But that little uh, skillful back heel out of danger was was nice and I enjoyed that. So I, I thought I'd put that in there. Um, I did try and do it. I didn't, I, that was the only instance I tried to do it. Sometimes you'll see clips uh, of things that from players that I'm reviewing and this like, like when, I, when he's, um, 
they did doing like keepy ups over defenders and then they take the shot and it goes in it looks spectacular maybe i've tried it four or five times previous to that but that was the only one time i tried a skillful pass out of danger and he pulled it off and i was quite pleased with that so there we go evidence of him bursting forward uh, i could have gone for goal there but with 59 finishing i had absolutely no confidence in his ability to put that in he's got 80 heading accuracy uh with only 81 jumping but from the corner managed to meet that header and actually very nearly score he's pretty good at, in terms of defending i wouldn't say he's the best defender i've ever used but he's very capable uh, gets his body in the way he gets in front of the ball sometimes gets between man and ball he does have 83 strength and as i say in game his body type does sort of make him feel a bit taller and stronger than he actually is which can help i mean fifa's not an exact science so just because you've got to play with 99 strength doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be invincible so someone with 83 strength could by all means feel stronger than he actually is and Dabo definitely does I accidentally cleared that there didn't mean to went in for the tackle he got it naturally without me having to press the tackle and then just cleared it because FIFA but again on the overlap here he doesn't do that a lot but I will say that me having him on overlap definitely helps his medium medium work rates are not good I'm not a fan of those I would either prefer them to be high high or one of them be high and the other be medium. That's the, the perfect scenario for me. Medium, medium kind of means he sort of hovers around the halfway line area a little bit, maybe a bit behind that. But with the overlap on, he does like to roam and, and does like to edge forward, which is good because it was what I want, you know. The stamina is a, a touch on the low side, which is definitely worth a mention. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a con because it depends how you play the game. If your fullbacks to stay back while attacking, not a problem. You won't have a problem with it at all. Stamina is going to be fine. If your uh, fullbacks are on no instruction whatsoever, chances are, again, he should be fine for the majority of the game. It's only if you're telling them to get forward and you're actively trying to use them as overlapping wingers is when you're going to have the issue. I always have very, very high stamina fullbacks in my team because I use them as outside wingers. Not often but it's kind of like i'm i'm more than happy to burn their stamina to have them there just in case i need them i don't use them very often but i like to have the option of an overlapping fallback just in case and sometimes as you've seen when he bursts into the penalty area if you've got someone there who is more capable of shooting or passing it off then you're going to have a, a much better time in front of goal but on um or in Dabo's case, unfortunately, he's good at getting there, but he doesn't really know what to do when he gets there. It's kind of a case of trying to wait and, and see if someone can um, catch up to him. Because he's quite quick, actually. He does feel a lot faster than his uh, 84 acceleration. But if, if someone can keep up with him, then he might be able to play it across. But going for goal is definitely not in his repertoire. Now, that being said, like I said, he's just an established fullback. He's decent. He's not good. He's not bad. Uh, I would say that he's I would say that he's above average though. I wouldn't say he's not good, but he's he's above average. He's he's alright. I did enjoy myself actually. I thought he was very, very uh capable. I, I just I it's a weird one, right? Because we're in this sort of eighty six and under category. I changed it from earlier. If you watched the video from earlier today where I reviewed Curtis, I said that we would do eighty five and under and eighty six and over, and I sort of changed my mind on that. I think eighty six and under, eighty seven and over for team of the season is roughly where we should be so he's not ever going to be competing with the best right backs in the game but in terms of every team of the season card 86 and under i'd say that he's definitely established and i think that if you put him in your team because you're a coventry fan or you you want a, a lower rated team and a bit of fun or a challenge or whatever you're going to get that with this guy you know he's capable it is challenging but he's not bad and, and that's essentially uh, what I liked about him he didn't really post any great ratings you know 8.0 in a 7.8 average position which is uh, not too bad to be fair I mean it's above average so he, he did play better than uh the, than my average right back does and sometimes my average right back can be like 87 play moments Bellerin or it can be a, a high rated Trent or something of that nature so it, he he was sort of competing against players in the average position for that rating but not in the overall so take it with a pinch of salt when i say 84 but it's still a very good rating for a right back that essentially will cost you what 13 14k and you can discard them for 10k so just to try this card out even if you can't sell him it's going to cost you about 3,000 coins essentially just to rent him so i definitely think he's worth a try definitely think he's worth a punt and of course if you are a fan of him or the club that he plays for 
Why not indeed? Could be better, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. I did enjoy myself. Did you enjoy the video? What a segue. If you if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, let me know who you want me to review next. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.